What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again and today I've been somewhere a little bit different. Not one of your high street supermarkets but it is a high street shop. I've been to the one stop. One stop. I'm going to try their all day breakfast. I saw this. We don't really shop there, we're just walking through because our Aldi is closed for refurbishment. So you're going to see, um, I'm going to do a little short or a video of the reopening and refurbishment of our Aldi, see if there's anything different in there, any new products or anything. So I'm excited for that, that's going to be tomorrow. So we'll be down there at 8 o'clock as soon as it opens, seeing what they've got. But for today, this bad boy, and look at that picture. It does, on the picture, it looks like one of the better um, all day breakfasts I've seen. That bacon looks alright. Sausage looks well, so we can only give it a go, can't we? Now, I do actually believe that One Stop is owned by Tesco's, but I can't see anything on it that says any Tesco branding on it, but I do believe it is a Tesco's company, One Stop. I might be wrong there, let me know in the comments if, you, if you've heard that or if you know that. So, you can oven cook this for 35 minutes or microwave it, we're going to microwave it. So, let's take a closer look at the box. So here is the box, it does say cook from frozen, which this is. So it says all day breakfast, let me just turn that light off. All day breakfast, omelette, hash brown, sausage, bacon and baked beans. So keeping it pretty simple, that bacon looks decent doesn't it? Omelette, not great fan of that, but we'll see. Sausage looks all right, hash brown, beans and beans. So it says oven for 36 minutes. I'm sure you can microwave it, but that is the traffic light system there. As you'd expect, it's not too good. However, two ambers and a green, obviously the salt intake is massive, but 413 calories for a breakfast, it's not too bad. And that fat and saturated fat and sugars are not too bad, to be honest. This is surprising, actually, there. So... Let's see what the ingredients are saying. So there it is, the number one ingredient is tomato puree. Haricot beans, which are baked beans, aren't they? So we've got egg, milk, and wheat as the allergens, and it says they're made using EU and non-EU pork. Sausage filled into non-EU, non-UK beef casing. Sausages and beef casing are quite nice, actually. Smoked back bacon rasher, 8%. Cooked pork sausage, 9%. The hash brown. Omelette. It is what it is, isn't it? See what it is. Now, it says there, 350 grams, one-stop stores. So, it doesn't actually mention the Tesco thing. Maybe I'd admit I've made that up. <laughs> That's the nutritional information. If you want to pause and have a look at that. Um, cooking instructions. Oven for 30, oh yeah, Micro we're going to microwave it. Seven minutes, 900 watts. Let's go. Let's have a look at it. There it is. So you've got your beans in there, which is half the, the thing, half the meal. One little sausage, omelette, hash brown and bacon. Is there any instructions about me uh, having to separate and things? Let's have a look. Peel back and film and remove sausage and bacon, place to one side, recover film, heat. On full power, four minutes and 30 seconds. Right, so we've got to take the sausage and bacon out, peel back the film lid, stir the beans, return the sausage and bacon. So, four and a half minutes and then three and a half minutes with the sausage and bacon in. Okay, let's do that. So, that's four and a half minutes. Give these beans a stir. Still slightly frozen. Do look a little bit watery, if I'm honest. Three and a half minutes to go, though. So, they could thicken up. This omelette. Very soft and oh, it's falling apart. That I'm gonna try to stand them up, but make room for these to go back in now so the sausage can go back in. And this bacon that looks very, very fatty. Look at that! So I'm not, not really looking forward to it as much as I thought I would. But three and a half minutes, let's go back in. So it's done and this is it. 
so the bacon doesn't look as oh it feels a bit crispy i do mm, well there's only one way to find out <laughs> we're going to give it a go i'm going to get it onto this plate now this is quite a big plate so don't know about judging the size of the breakfast two pound nine pence this cost I'm going to try and make it look as big as possible by unfolding like the omelette. You know what you should put in there? Some cheese. Wow. The hash brown is very soggy. It's mostly beans. It did say that on the, on the side though, on the ingredient, didn't it? So there it is. That is the breakfast. Go to the table and take a closer look. Okay, so let's get into it. Apologise for the, the noise, I think next door are vacuuming. I think the house is up for, for, for rent and they're, they're vacuuming up. So we've got omelette, sausage, bacon, hash brown and beans. Probably should have had some toast to this. Probably would have just filled it up nicely. Obviously it's mostly beans here as you can see. We're going to start with the hash brown. It is a bit soft. There's no scratch there. It's a bit soggy, but that's microwave cooking it for you. Yeah, it's very, very soft. However, the flavour is very, very nice. It's You can really taste the onions in it, and I really love that one. Hash brown, you can really taste the onions. Just soggy. However, it's not bland. It's really nice. This is a, it's a decent, decent hash brown, this. I feel like if I put oven cook this, this would be banging the bacon right as you can see from the, from the bacon when we even before we put it in it's very fatty look at this all this fat here so i'm actually going to do i'm just going to try the top bit because as you know i'm not really a big bacon guy Quite tough, very salty. It's not bad, but I won't be eating this. No chance. I'll try and get through both like the, um, what do they call them, the bacon medallions? Not too bad. Obviously it's not as good as fresh cooked bacon at home. Danish bacon from Iceland. Right. Omelette. So basically it's just like a scrambled egg but into a parcel. You know what's not bad that. I've had worse. I've definitely had worse there. Dave's was a bit tough. The, the outer edge there is a bit tough, but maybe I've overdone it. It's not bad. Okay, let's try these beans, there's a lot of them. They're nice beans. Beans are beans light, but they're nicely cooked. I was worried halfway through that it wouldn't be, um, they would be very, very watery, but they are thickened up. They're quite nice. Sausage then. Piesto is his norms, as I would say. So. Yeah, it's nice that. It's not a bad sausage, actually. 
Shiva will be a little bit bigger. However, for a microwavable sausage, that's decent. It's not like the um, beans and sausage sausages sometimes you get in these all day breakfast. It's an actual sausage. When that outer casing is a beef casing, I always think it's better. And then this is this is a beef casing and it's it's one of the better microwave sausages I've ever had really. It's really good that. So score. One stop. I don't think I've had anything from the one stop before. Beans are really nice actually. I might be contradicting my beans are beans here, but they're really nicely cooked and they've really got some flavour there. Score. The only thing that's letting this down is uh, the fatty bacon. However, that, for a breakfast, I didn't even need, I was, I, had, I was planned, planning on having this uh, ketchup, but uh, I didn't even need it, it was quite nice. So, score out of 10, for £2.09 pence, I think, probably a good 7 out of 10 that. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Um, well, uh, yeah, on to the next one, I think. That's that's nice. It's not as good as going out for it, of course. That's just letting it down. If it had been in the eights, if that bacon would have been nicer. But I'm very fussy with the bacon. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.